That's right. We are going to show you all about empathy and critical thinking. Watch the scene and figure out the lessons we are trying to teach you. Hey, Rachel, can I borrow your, your eraser? No, you always break my things. I do not. Ugh, whatever. Hey, Rachel, can I borrow a pencil? No, I am prepared and you should be too. My pencil's broke. It's not my fault. My mom won't get me more. Someone is totally stealing my pencils. It's not fair. Hey, Charlotte, what's wrong? Rachel won't let me borrow a pencil and it's not fair. You can borrow my pencil. Thanks, that's sweet, but Rachel really hurt my feelings. I wish I had more pencils. I wish I didn't have to borrow. My mom is too busy with the baby at home, and she didn't order me new pencils this year. I totally get how you feel. I have a new baby at home, too. It feels like my parents don't have any time for me. You totally get it. Thank you. I'll, ha I'll take that pencil now. Hey, Pete, what's wrong? Nothing. Does it look like nothing? Talk to me. I'm your friend. I said nothing. Why won't you just leave me alone? It feels like you're taking out your hurt feelings on me. I don't think I deserve that. But I do care about you, and I want you to know that I'm here if and you, when you feel like talking. Whatever. I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad. <laughs> you don't need to always try and fix someone's bad mood. That's right. When you use critical thinking, you decide what you need to do that would be the best in that situation. And in our video, the students thought about what their friends were going through. This is called empathy. Empathy is when you understand what someone else is feeling because you know what it feels like. We are going to visit your classroom soon and talk about how, how we see empathy and critical thinking in our school every day. See, see you next time! time. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>